Well, hello, I'm Render Tom, and this is a quick demo video for my plugin Kurula Moon. Kurula Moon is Python driven Cinema 4D plugin that generates those wavy, funky, curly splines. Uh, it is highly inspired by Structure Synth and its Nuvu variations, and it brings ability to Cinema 4D to generate parametric splines that twist 90 degrees around the random axis. Well, it sounds complicated. Without further blah 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 blah, let me show you a quick video I made for it. Beautiful, beautiful. Okay, let's go to Cinema and take a look at some settings. After you install this plugin, you will find it under Plugins menu. Kurul Moon. It is not a rocket science, it's very easy to play with, but I would like to take a quick overview about the settings. First one is Test Mode. I will come back to this a little bit later. Random Seed. Generate a random shape of this line. Okay, number of branches, boom, boom, boom. Define the, basically the number of splines it generates. The most important one is number of segments. Well, I don't know how to explain it correctly, but if we increase, maybe let's take a different shape, this one. If we play with the settings, if we increase the number of segments, you can see the spline starts to grow. It generates more, more segments on the end. And that way it makes more of those uh, wavy shapes, those, those curls. Okay. I'll default this to 150. Uh, scale. Easy. Self-explanatory. Uh, I would recommend, uh, if, we, if you play with segments, let's say 300, you double it. Then lower down the scale twice. That way you will maintain the, the, the proportions. Okay, tension. This parameter defines the tension of the spline. So if we take a look at test mode, you will see if we lower down the values, the tension goes outside the spline, and if we increase the value, it just shrinks it to the center. Okay, okay, boom. Uh, another one, kill small. Uh, it basically shrinks the spline from the end. Hide spline, easy. And now mesh tab. For mesh, we should add some rectangular or any any of these closed splines. Lower down the, seg uh, the size. Drop it here. Boom. Generate mesh. Easy. Let me just write, make a right spline. Okay, there we go. Subdivisions. It controls the subdivision of the mesh along the spline. Fill. <laughs> like this. From. It basically does the same, but from the other side, from the other end. Okay. Thong. Well, you should be familiar with it. And finally, size and twist. Wee wee, wee wee, see? Simple, 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 simple. And twist, it just makes a twist along the spline. So as I said, it's very simple. It's not a rocket science. Just play around with it. See what you get. And there we go. Thanks for watching.